is also the octet truss system in architectural building that Buck introduced to the world. Look at this. See the octet truss system there? Uh huh. See that? That's what they use to build the, the, the uh, cranes, the super, it's all, and space station labs, everything. This is all buck, Bucky was bigger than bigger than bigger than big. Uh, this stuff is it's the nature's coordinating system. It's, there's 12 of these for each nucleus. It couples the uh, centers of energy from nucleus to nucleus throughout the whole universe. That's the coupler. It analyzes and conserves the energy. Uh huh. It's the coupler. It's the, it's the dual to the quantum. It takes. See, once you uh, cut this in half, you get four equal uh, tetras, and, and you get this as its heart, but the volume of this is equal to four of those, so, so in, in essence, they're, they're a dual team, and it takes both of these shapes to fill all space in, in the movie. One of them can't do it, at least big gaps and holes, but these are a, a quantum team. They're, it's not a monological world. The world is always minimum two, right down to the quantum. It's in the heart of this one nature subdivides to multiply itself. It gets this guy for extra access to spin and inhalation and conservation of the... God's shit is magic, dude. No way about it, you know what I mean? Far out. If you don't have your facts in order, though, you're stuck in some kind of material. And we're talking about push-pull vectors between uh, events. This is where radiation interference comes in. This is the center of the spheric. Each one of these, this is the matrix that goes through it represents the gravitational uh, line of force to, to the nucleus of each cell that, that this, this matrix represents. But Bucky captured it and got the octet truss system out of that invisible matrix of directional lines of force and brought it into an architectural system which is still metaphysics. See? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Right on. It is. Beautiful models, too. See, in the universe, when you say quantum, you mean the minimum. You mean the smallest number of uh, uh, units of energy to create a system. This is, it takes, you can't even break a rock into less than six edges and four, four uh, vertexes. But these, in quantum physics, these are open windows. This thing comes through here like this, and that starts the first atomic clock because these, these, these uh, atoms are turning inside out as a constant uh, characteristic of their nature. And this is like your uh, electron, your proton, your, uh, I mean your electron, you had a neutron, proton, neutron, electron, a positron, neutrino, and antineutrino as a team. These are push-pull vectors like this so that there's ability to stabilize an event and this is the, the relationship push-pull stabilizing of these four events which converge, they don't touch, nothing touches anything in converse. This is a system. It's inherently nucleated, and there's six positive, six negative degrees of motion potential. It's these one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn inside out, torque, spin, counter spin, it, uh, expand, compress from liquid to gas to the solid gases, magnetically spin on the vertexes, the liquids uh, lock down magnetically, it's separated on the edges, the crystals lock down, and diamonds, quadra, and, and triple, and, and most of the uh, so called crystalline phases of the so called matter. Well, that was now for. <laughs> I didn't confuse anybody, but I don't think I did. <laughs> That's good stuff.